Now this tutorial shows you how to create the motion twin animation technique. Now firstly, let's try to understand what is a motion twin animation. Now this animation technique is one of the most commonly used in Flash, wherein the designer creates keyframes, okay, just the initial and the succeeding keyframes, and in each keyframes, um, the designer could create an illusion that there's a different picture in it. It doesn't technically mean that it's a different image in it, but it could be the same picture, but basically just change its properties, like could be the size, it could be the position, it could be the color, it could be the shape of that picture, and um, doing that in different keyframes, and allowing Flash to interpolate the pictures in between the keyframes. So if I click here, the onion skin, basically you could see here, okay, like a, a trace of how the picture moves from, from the left to the right. So onion skin is just a way of previewing the, the path of the animation. Now you can also do that, that's also possible, um, by, let, by, by creating a motion tween in between the keyframes. So in that way, you let Flash interpolate the pictures in between the keyframes. So I'm going to show you um, the different steps how to do it. Okay, so this is how it goes. Now to create a motion tween animation technique, you follow a certain step. So firstly, you create an object. So you basically create here the, uh, an illustration that you want it to be animated. And then the second step, you're going to convert that object to a symbol. So you could choose either a button, a movie clip, or a graphic. So you convert it to symbol so that basically you could manipulate the object, you could reuse it, you could apply some scripts to it. You could control, you can control it in Flash. Thirdly, after converting it to symbol, you have to insert a keyframe on the timeline. Now, this in this keyframes, you can basically change the properties of the object. Okay, it could be the size, it could be the property, it could be the position of that object, where in that way you could create an illusion that there are a lot of pictures uh, on the different frames of the timeline. And then to complete the animation, you have to create a motion tween in between the keyframes so that in that way you could create a smooth transition in between the different keyframes and you allow Flash to interpolate the pictures in between the keyframes. Now this is a sample of how to do it. So basically first, let's create an object. Okay, Let's just say that we're going to have a ball that's going to roll on the stage from left to right and then it's going to bounce up and down and it's going to roll back and fade out. So, okay, first step is create an object. Let's create an object. So you can use any of the um, drawing tools here and just gonna draw a ball, a simple ball. Okay, so to make it easier to manage the files, let's try to rename the layer. Let's say this one is ball. I'm just gonna create another layer let's say a road where the ball is gonna roll so under the road layer just gonna quickly draw a line creating an illusion that this is our road where the ball is gonna bounce and roll okay now what we want to animate is the ball not the road so we'll select the ball and then We'll do the next step. We already have the object. The next step is to convert that object to a symbol. So you can either press F8 or you could okay, or you could right click on the object and then you have there convert to symbol. Now you could choose whatever type okay, that is more appropriate in your illustration. You can choose a movie clip a button and a graphic. Now this different types of symbol you know, will be discussed in a different tutorial so I'm just gonna choose here movie clip and then let's say I'm gonna name it ball and you press OK 
Now we have already done the first, uh, the second step, the first and the second. We have the object, and then we have already converted it to a symbol. Now the next step is to create insert a keyframe. All right. So here you can select the duration of your animation. Let's say it's going to be animated until the let's say 40th frame. It's going to roll until the 40th frame. So you just have to select that frame and you can insert a keyframe. How do you do it? You can press F6 or you could also just right click on that frame and then choose insert keyframe. Now you can see that there's a shaded circle on that particular frame. It's a hint that there's a keyframe and there's like a different picture in that point of time. Again, it doesn't technically mean that it's a different object or different image in it, but it could be just the same picture, but basically changing its properties. Could be the position, could be the size, could be the color, could be the shape. So in here, I'm just going to change the, the position on the 48th frame. And then let's say after that, it's going to bounce. So let's say on the 50th frame, it's going to bounce. So just right click, insert keyframe, and then change the position of your ball. Let's say on the 60th frame, right click, insert a keyframe, or you can just press F6, and then put back the position of the ball. And then F7, I mean 70, F6, up. Okay, you can just, it depends on what, how you want this ball is going to be animated, no? F6, okay, and then down, all right, and then let's say on the, um, the 120th frame is going to roll, okay, it's going to be down, it's going to roll to the left, okay, it's going to roll to the left, all right. Now, if you don't Oh, hold on. So here, as you can see, the line is lost. Why? Because only the ball is extending its frames. If you can see the gray area here on the frames, it means there's a picture in it. But if you see that just the blank ones, it means nothing is in it. So no picture. So you can extend the duration of your road so that you could see it all throughout together with this ball. So you just have to select the same duration of that ball, let's say it's 120th frame, it ends in the 120th frame. So to increase it, okay, you can just press F5. F5 is to insert a frame. So what's the difference between a keyframe and a frame? So the frame basically is just a similar picture of what is in the previous keyframe. It's not a new picture, so if you're not changing the, if you're not animating the, the line, or if you're not, if you don't intend to, um, changes properties well no point of adding a keyframe so you can just insert a frame to increase its visibility in the timeline all right now if you don't if you forget the last step which is to create a motion tween this is how it's going to happen oops let me just go back put it back all right i'm dragging wrong one okay now here Okay, if you forgot to, um, to to do the last step, which is to create a motion tween, and you just press Control Enter, it's gonna look like this. Tuk, 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 tuk. So it's not really smooth, no? So the last step here, which is to create a motion tween, allows Flash to interpolate a picture in between the different keyframes. So how do you create a motion tween? So it's as easy as right clicking in between the different keyframes. And just choose here, create classic tween, and you can see an arrow. So it's a hint that, that you're creating here a motion tween. Okay, so right click, create classic tween. We're just using here classic tween because we're using here CS5, and um, you might be using C lower versions of it in uh, CS3 just to avoid confusion later on when you do your advanced. Um, Flash and the computers upstairs are using CS3, so just use classic tween. Okay, anyway, so when you preview this, control enter, you can see that the ball is moving from left to right, it's bouncing. Okay, it's moving smoothly compared to the first one that we have seen. 
Now, there's a little bit of awkwardness in the ball. So what we want is to make the ball actually roll, no? As you can see, that's why I use here rainbow so that you could actually it rolling, but it's not rolling. Okay. Now here, we can do that by changing um, the rotation of the ball. So how do we do that? So we, if you select the object, try to observe your property. You can see a different property like position, size, color, display. But when you select the frame, say the keyframe, you can see a different property. Label, tweening, sound. Now here, if you wanted to basically ch change the properties of your um, animation, you select the keyframe, and then you can see this. You can see this property tweening. Just change. Okay, you have here rotate. Basically, you just have to expand if it's collapsed. No, you have here rotate. Select here clockwise. And you say, oh, it's going to rotate three times clockwise. So once you've done that, so when you scroll and you move your playhead, your ball is going to rotate already clockwise. All right. Now, if you wanted, okay, if you wanted the ball to rotate counterclockwise, so do it on the, on the 80th frame. So from there, it's going to start rotating counterclockwise. And you can specify how many times. Let's say, oh, just two times. Enter. So in that way, you control enter. You can see that it's rolling clockwise and counterclockwise. All right. All right. So now, if in the last step you wanted to fade it out, how are we gonna do that? All right. Close it. Now here, let's say when it finishes, I want it to ro fade out. So it's basically in this keyframe. So. What you need to do is basically change the property, the physical property of the object. So just select your ball, and then you can see here, um, color effect. Look at your property bar, selecting the ball. You have your color effect. You have here alpha, or the transparency of your object. You just have to set it to zero, so that at the specific point of time, it's going to be faded out. Okay. So control enter. And you can see that the ball is rolling clockwise, bouncing, rolling back, counterclockwise, and it's fading out. So basically, that's the concept of motion tween animation technique. So basically, you create an object. After creating an object, you convert that to symbol. And then after converting it to symbol, you insert keyframes on the timeline. And on the different keyframes, you change the properties of the object. Okay, it could be the size, could be the color, could be the... Um, opacity could be the position and you create a motion tween in between so that flash automatically interpolates the pictures and thus making your animation smooth so that's the an that's the tutorial for the uh, the uh, motion tween animation technique